Do you have lots of Hive asset tables that you want to migrate to BigQuery? Migrating Hive asset data from Hadoop to Google BigQuery is a fairly straightforward process. In this video, I am going to show you how to migrate Hive assets to BigQuery. I am Anu, Strategic Cloud Engineer in Google. Let's get started. What are Azure Hive Tables? Azure enabled Hive Tables support transactions like updates and delete operations. We will explore how to migrate Hive Asset Tables to BigQuery without the dependency of performing major or minor compaction. ACID is an acronym for Atomicity, Consistency, Isolation and Durability. It guarantees the database transactions are processed in a reliable way. Underlying Hive Asset Table files are in ORC asset format. To support asset features, Hive stores table data in set of base files and all the insert update and delete operations or in Delta files. It creates a lot of small Delta files. And then Hive Metastore runs major compactions in the Hadoop cluster to consolidate these base file and Delta files into a single file or into a more manageable file set. Some of the challenges are name node capacity problems due to small Delta files. Also, storing a lot of small files cannot be efficiently handled by Hadoop file system. Reading through small files involves a lot of seek operations. It takes longer for data replication to DR due to these extremely small files. Also, table logs during compaction, so non-asset sessions cannot access the high asset tables. Another challenge is Running major compactions on Hive Asset Table is a resource-intensive operation. Google BigQuery is a serverless, highly scalable cloud data warehouse. It allows for super-fast queries on petabyte-scale data. Some of the benefits of migrating these Hive Asset Tables to BigQuery are once the data is loaded into the managed BigQuery tables, BigQuery manages and optimizes the data stored in the internal storage and it also handles compaction. So there will not be any issues like small file issues uh, we have in Hadoop. The locking issue will be resolved as the BigQuery reads and writes are highly performant and are highly parallelized. As ORC files are completely self-describable, there is no dependency to extract high DDLs. BigQuery has an inbuilt um, schema inference feature that can infer the schema from the ORC file and it also supports schema evolution without any need for data processing tools to infer the schema. These ORC files in an asset table are extended with several columns like operation, original transaction, bucket, row ID to uniquely identify the transactions. There are two main steps to migrate high assets to BigQuery. First, Copy the underlying ORC files from HDFS and stage these files in Google Cloud Storage. Second, load these ORC files to BigQuery Assets. Copy the files under the Hive table and stage the files in Google Cloud Storage using the NIFI based HDFS to GCS solution published by Google PSO team or use disk copy pull. You don't have to compact before copying these files to Google Cloud Storage. Then load these ORC files into BigQuery. Perform BQ load access to a base table in BigQuery. Here is the schema of the base table. This base table will have all the transactions recorded. Write a query to reflect the updates and delete transactions and load into a target table. Use the DVT tool published by Google PSO to validate the schema and data of Hive Asset Table and the target BigQuery table. The way Hive manages the underlying data is different from the way BigQuery manages the underlying data. The pain points of Hive Asset Tables like small files issue, compaction issues, locking issues are resolved when migrating to BigQuery. There are a lot more scenarios to explore when it comes to Hive migration. But I am sure this will give you a good starting point. 
If you are interested in exploring automated HDFS to GCS NiFi based solution and data validation utility, please check out the link in the description. To understand more about migrating data warehouses to BigQuery, I highly encourage you to check out the public documentation link that I have posted in the description. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching.